and welcome to the top of the Shade Mountain today where we're going to talk about forest fires. When I was a kid, you know, a lot of kids, they like Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Me, I love Smokey the Bear. And uh, I was so excited. Uh, I think it was kindergarten, might have been first grade. Our class wrote Smokey the Bear a letter and got to be in the official Smokey the Bear Club. And so just to help you remember, only you can prevent forest fires. So let's make sure we uh, not do anything foolish, folks, in honor of Smokey. I don't know if you know this, but that wasn't his original name. His original name was actually Hot Foot Teddy. He was an actual bear that they had found in a forest fire and rescued him and uh, called him Hot Foot Teddy. Of course, that ended up morphing into a much cooler name, Smokey the Bear, who continues to go around and visit uh, parks and, uh, and schools to educate kids on the importance of preventing forest fire themselves. That's not the only tool, though, for preventing forest fires. <coughs> This particular uh, place where I'm at today on top of the Shade Mountain up Licking Creek brings us to an old fire tower. And there used to be a big tower right behind me. Of course, it's been torn down now. There's other ways to manage forest fires. But back in the day, what they would do is they would send rangers up here and they would they would scout out uh, across the, the mountainside. And, and if they were able to find any smoke coming up, they could address it as quickly as possible. But, uh, you know, the scripture, scripture talks about forest fires as well, at least at one point in James. And it relates it to something I think we can all relate to. In James 3, starting in verse 5, it says, Even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire by hell. It's important that we keep a rein on our tongue because the evils that our tongue is capable of producing are absolutely devastating to people's lives at times. I think we've all been on the wrong end of someone lying about us. It can be slander of conduct. It can be gossip. Uh, there's all kinds of ways that people can use their tongue to tear people down. Belittling your family, uh, just yelling and screaming at people, tearing into them. You know, you can see the damage is done. And I would guess that, that every one of us has had people set our heart on fire at one time or another by something their tongue said. And uh, it can do a lot of damage. Sometimes, sometimes one or two things that you say to someone can lock in with them for many, many years. Sometimes it'll control them for a lifetime. And as, as a pastor, I work with people in counseling, and, and many, many times uh, we come back to things that they had been told, and, and sometimes things that they bought into and believed because someone said something foolish at one time or another. So I just want to take some time and remind you, sitting here by the old fire tower on top of Shade Mountain, that we need to be careful the things we say with our tongue because... A few small sparks from our tongue can destroy lives. And so keep, keep in mind that uh, it's important we say positive things. We build one another up, to be honest, but to be strengthening to one another. This is your chance to remember that you too can prevent forest fires, and you can also prevent people from burning their lives. Take good care of one another, and God bless.